For all you people that are targeted, good morning. Does anyone know what this is? Got an antenna. It's got an antenna or a little box. They're all over half the streets in my community. Not all of them, but half. Uh, Six fifty eight. A line on the family plan that is the one I use is tracked to Claridge Avenue at six fifty eight AM. If I'm not mistaken, that day was a Sunday and when I got home well to my where I pay rent. Everyone was home, except me, because I was going to a place to get solitude, to get away from it all, to get away from people. It's ridiculous when you can't be left alone these days. And your family joins into this stalker type program. It's sad when your own family, even though you lose a loved one, and you have to take on the responsibility of being a mom and a dad, basically. I mean, that's pretty messed up to be tracked like a hunter tracking a deer. You know, here last night, I had to wait. Uh, my daughter walked all of, uh, walked all of a block to the store with her friend. Ten of nine, five of nine, just to get a slushie, and was propositioned, and they ran home and told me, so I went down, talked to the girl working, she also was propositioned, so she called the police, then called him back because the guy returned back to the store and went to the bus stop. And you would think they would have shown up. But nope. I woke up again this morning with the back of my head tingling. Turned on my radio frequency detector and it was pretty much maxed out. This one right here was maxed out. And now, Still tingles. Now I had to go last night because my daughter pestered me so much.
to get my tent that I was sleeping in. And now it's got to go back to where it was. Now it's got to go back to where it was because of, uh, I am not going to be subject to some dumbass experiment. whatever illegal program they got going on. It's ridiculous. Those little boxes with the antenna, they're on every pole. Or every other pole in my area. Most of them are on every pole. I've never seen them before. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. You know, I got books saying that I was being deprived of sleep, woken up 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. by people who don't even pay rent. <clears throat> now it's old. It's, it's really old. I'm tired of having my space that I, you know, I'm supposed to be renting violate it either by video audio or radio frequencies to mess with my head To whoever decided to start this program in my neck of the woods, neighborhood, whatever you want to call it. Shame. Just because these people believed you or took the Happy Meal toys. You're, de you're, you're destroying a human being's psyche. Non-repairable. You, 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 you don't understand. Like, you, you can't say, oh, here's a cookie, you know. Your stomach can stop hurting now. Or here's a band-aid, cover your boo-boo. And I know it's an alert system to it because there's a beeping sound. So, how many other TIs hear a beeping sound when they go to certain places and it's a constant? It's like beep, beep. You know, it, it's, it's really... It's, it's, it's really uh, sickening to know that you know it's not just average people 
in on this program that take part in it can't be because had I been throwing rocks at cars or something just say I was I don't you know I read the Bible if not I would have said something to the guy myself says treat others how you want to be treated and you know here these new commercials on TV if you see something say something well I said something because I felt that that was wrong and no one showed up I left my phone number they everything because the guy's on camera no one ever called back why not maybe because they're in on the targeting with the people in the community it's a sad thing to think But after complaining since January that somebody's been violating my space, you know, I brought it up to my doctor and others before I even said something to my attorney. Before I said something to my landlord. Before. See, I did all these things before. You know, it's just a brief discussion with people in places that are supposed to be trusted. And for people to look you in the eye and say, oh no, nothing's going on here. When I made a couple of the videos that were back to back the other day. Uh, just seemed like they were removing certain things. That's sad. God's looking down on all of us. You're supposed to pick your fellow man up, not beat him into the ground. You know, you're supposed to help him cope with his uh, disabilities, not make them worse. It just seems like this is a hateful world anymore. People don't do things out of the kindness of their heart. It just seems like they're in it for themselves, money, or to get themselves out of a jam.
it's so bad that here I wake up every day at six o'clock for the last couple of years. Today, I wake up at 8.30. Two and a half hours, give or take a little bit, of the time that I should have gotten up. It's like they're trying to cause brain damage. But to have your privacy taken away after you pay rent, you know, where you pay rent to stay, that's supposed to be, you know, just like the term says, king of your castle, you know, the place where you get to go decompress and feel safe and secure from the outside world. Not to have others intrude on that privacy. You know, if you look up the privacy law, hold on, I get it. Maryland recognizes all four common law invasions of, invasion of privacy claims. Intrusion on solitude or seclusion public disclosure of private facts, unreasonable publicity given to one's private life, false light privacy, publicity that, may, that places the other in a false light before the public. and the appropriation of one's name or likeness. The law further prohibits the close, disclosing or using the communication that was obtained illegally, however, It's okay to do these things if you have given prior consent. Well, I never consented to the interception. Violation of the statute con constitutes a felony and is subject to a $10,000 fine, five years imprisonment, or both. visual surveillance of an individual in a restroom or dressing room without the individual's consent, even by the owner of the premises. Criminal. The Maryland Personal Information Privacy Act pr protects the privacy and personal information of state residents, including employees, job applicants, God watches from above, and for all you people that do these horrendous war crimes against your fellow human beings, I, I just hope you realize that there is a maker to life, a creator. They talk about him in the Bible, you know, in every walk of life. 
and at some point you have to stand before him for judgment because we're not supposed to judge but he is it's sad I hope the rest of you people that are TIs don't have to go through this. I really do. Read your Bible. Stay in the light. God bless. And have a good morning. I guess I'm going to try to have to. I'll read my Bible and I'll pray a little bit. God bless.